Today I'm unboxing a Wi-Fi smart plug. So this particular plug is by a company called Slit Into and it comes in a pack of two. So I've done other smart Wi-Fi plugs before but this one has a slight twist to it. It actually has a method of monitoring the energy usage you've got on there. So that's quite a cool idea I thought. So it retails for $18.99 from Amazon. Check out the links in the description below if you want to see the product on Amazon to purchase. So let's have a look at the packaging. Comes nicely packaged in a pack of two. Some details on the side there. Obviously power wise 18 amps supports products of that sort of power. Um, energy monitoring I've mentioned that. Voice control. Setting a schedule and remote access. So it's supporting both Amazon Alexa and the Google Assistant, which is great. And I'll show how to get it set up with those as well. Some more details there. Works with the Smart Life app. And that's it. Let's open it up and see what you get. Okay, so first of all, some instructions. Let's open that up. And zoom out a little bit so you can get a good idea. All in English, pretty straightforward stuff from what we've done before. And that size is all in English as well, so that's great. Okay, so two plugs. And nothing else in there. If I just open that and just show. Yeah, there you go, nothing else. Okay. Nice compact design on there. Rigid plastic, quite tough, so that's good. Show some details on there. Bit of info there. Not much on there, just obviously a power button, branding there, and it looks like an LED light, and that's it. Nice small size. A lot of the other ones I've reviewed, they've been a bit bulky, so this isn't as conspicuous and it doesn't stick out that much, which is nice. Okay, so next, let me show you the actual size of the product. So width wise it's just a little bit above five centimeters and five and a half there in height let's double check that one yep so it's actually taller it's not actually square it's rectangular and depth wise it's three centimeters so they go quite a small size which is nice and here's a plug from the alexa as a comparison So yeah, good, very nice compact size. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is actually set up the plug. So I've got my power strip here. Let me plug it straight in and let me zoom in so you can clearly see it. There's an LED there and it's flashing rapidly in blue. So that means it's ready to take a configuration. And if it's not in that sort of state, what you can do, you can hold on to the power button here at the side for five to 10 seconds and that will reset it. And then you should see this flashing correctly then. So put that down. Let me get my mobile and let's install the app. So the one we wanna go for is Smart Life. So if I click there and there you go, Smart Life is there. And it's the one just shown here. Okay, so let me click install. Okay, so the app's installed now. So let me click open. And let's register an account. So if I click register, I'll put in my details and then I'll log in and show you the next screen. So let me do that off camera. Okay, so I've logged in and this is what I'm presented with. So it says add devices, if I just click anywhere. And that's the screen you're left with. So next, let's click add devices and select wall outlet 
Okay, and this is just telling you just to check if it's the lights are blinking on the device. So we'll confirm it is. So let me enter in my Wi-Fi password off camera next. Okay, so I've entered my Wi-Fi password, but also just to note, I have reset the device and the color's slightly different. Once you hold onto the power button for five, 10 seconds, actually flashing more of a reddish color. So I've entered in my Wi-Fi password. I've just clicked connect. and Let's hold this closer. Oh, just heard it click. It's gone red now. It's changed again. There you go. Added it already. Let's click done. And there you see the device now. Okay, so I've brought my lamp over and I've plugged my lamp directly into the smart plug here. And the button at the side, the power button, I can use that to turn it off, turn it on again. And let me bring my phone over. And from the actual phone itself, I can do control fire that as well. That's great. And if I drop down, turn off my Wi-Fi. Give it a second, connect to my data. There you go. No ports to open, no hub required. Work straight away, which is great. Let's get my Wi-Fi back on again. Okay, options wise, you've got the switch there. You've got a schedule, 24 seven schedule timer. So you can set times for it to turn on, pick the day you want it to turn on or even off and ask, sorry, actually tell it what you want it to do to turn on or off, which is good. So that timer's actually held in the cloud by the servers supporting Smart Life. So for it to work, it's dependent on the internet being there. So if your internet goes down, it's not gonna work. So let's go back, let's go back again, and timer. So this is quite a useful option. So for instance, if you had a fan running and you wanted the fan to remain on, for example, for one hour. So you can just say one hour there, and you could just say zero, zero there, and you set that, and there you go, off after, and it's counting down straight away. If I go to that, turn it off, and it's canceled it. And this is now the extra option of this particular smart plug has, so statistics. So if I click on this that, this is the interesting one compared to the other Wi-Fi plugs. It actually gives you your usage. So current power and voltage and in total kilowatts per hour. So it'll actually tell you your usage and you'll get to know how much energy the particular device is using. So I think this is quite a good one. So I've got a NAS device on my, uh, in my property, which I store obviously my YouTube videos on. And I'd like to know how much power that thing is actually using because I leave it on a lot of the time and quite a bit of that time it's not in use. It's just sitting there churning away using energy and it'd be nice to know how much it's actually costing to run. So a great feature to have, I have to admit. So that's the basics on there. There's other options in here as well. So you can modify the name, you can check the network connectivity. They're the supported third party controls. So Amazon Echo and Google Home. Device sharing, you can share with someone else. Device info, so this is like the, the IP address, etc., the MAC address of the actual device. Create group, you can create a group with other devices to work in parallel at the same time. Feedback and check for firmware updates. So there's occasional firmware updates for these devices which you can do remotely as well. Okay, so next I'm gonna show how to get this Wi-Fi smart plug working with the Google Home. So if I click on the Home app, and if I just cover this area here, and click Home Control. So, next you just click the plus, and you see all the services it's connected to at the moment. So I've got my Nest, got WeLink and WeBack. So we wanna look for 
Smart Life. So if I scroll down to the S's, and it's just there, Smart Life. So now, what I want to, what I need to do is just log in with my account. So let me put those details in off camera. Okay, I've got my details entered in. I'll just click a link and we'll author, authorize that. Okay, so it's added in and, and we can is. assign it to a room if we wanted to or just finish. So let's finish. And that's how to control it, for example. So turn everything on. So we'll just click on stood and Let's see if we can find it. It's just there. So if I click it, I can give it a nickname if I wanted to. So I could just call it um, Lamp. Let that save. So that's a nickname now instead of saying Smart Plug Energy Monitoring. Otherwise, we'd have to say that every time. So if I go back, got a few devices there, but there's a lamp. So if I now unmute this. The microphone is back on. And let's test it out. So I should be able to just turn this off now and say, turn on lamp. Sure, turning on the lamp. Okay, Google, turn off lamp. Okay, turning the lamp off. Okay, so next let's show this. So I'll mute the mic. The on the Google Home and on my phone, let me come off my Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go straight onto my data. So this is an interesting thing you can do, obviously, if you've got the Google Home. So it's connected to 4G now. And if I now say, OK, Google, turn on lamp. All right, turning on the lamp. OK, Google, turn off lamp. Sure, turning the lamp off. So for this functionality to exist, you need the Google Home for it to work. It won't work and you can't configure it without actually owning one of these. So if you're outside your house, for example, you can control it by voice without being on your Wi-Fi. So quite cool functionality there. Okay, so now let me show how to set up this Wi-Fi smart plug with the Amazon Alexa. So I've got the Alexa app here on my phone start it up and click here for the menu skills click in search and type in smart and then it just appears there smart life so i've got it enabled at the moment i can disable it if i want and as soon as you enable it you'll be asked for a login prompt to enter your details so similar to how the google home is so once it's entered it should pick it up, but if you're adding an additional device, you can just go to Smart Home, Add Device, and let it discover. So if I just unmute this as well, while we're waiting. Okay, there you go. It's found it. Let's see. Ah. There you go. Turn it off and turn it on again. Now, if I go here, we'll edit the name. We can call it uh, Seller. Okay, so now I can say, Alexa, turn off seller. Okay. Alexa, turn on seller. Okay. There you go. Simple as that. Easy to set up on both the Google Home and Amazon Alexa. 
Okay, so one thing to show regarding this Wi-Fi plug. It does work great, but something you need to be aware of. So this is a standard UK double pin socket and it's by a company called MK, so it's a well-known brand. And the way this has actually been designed, I think it's a little bit off, only because if I push that on now, it gets in the way of the button and it automatically turns it on. So a little bit of a design flaw, not the end of the world. It still works fine. Obviously, if you wanted to, if you did have a plug like this and it was touching it and it turned it on, it's in the on position. So if you wanted to turn it off, just pull out the plug, which is fine as well. Uh, there are some sockets that obviously don't even have the switches on there and just have maybe USB charge points. I've got one of those and it suits that sort of plug quite well, but just something to be aware of if you're purchasing this. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing of this Wi-Fi smart plug. You've seen how it's set up using the Smart Life app, and I've also shown how to configure it with both the Google Home and the Amazon Alexa. Very simple to set up. Bit of a twist from the standard sort of smart plug in that it actually shows energy usage, so really impressed by that. And even the fact price-wise, under £20 you can get two of these plugs, and nice and compact as well. So, details in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.